This university has exchanged the truth of God for lies. This university has exchanged the truth of God, our creator, Jesus Christ, for the lie of Charles Darwin and the evolutionist. Now, I'll have to admit that a lot of college students act like animals. But man is not an animal. God formed man out of the dust of the ground, uh, breathed in his nostrils the breath of life, uh, that man became a living soul. Therefore, I have no ancestors, whether they be man or beast. Where is she? Okay, Furthermore, well, go this university has exchanged the truth of God, Jesus Christ, our Redeemer, to the lies of Marx and Engels and the socialist and the commie. Students, you can't be a socialist or commie and be a Christian. Why don't you get a job? Why don't you get a job? There's a job. Generate wretch. Call <laughs> upon the name of the Lord today. He will save you from your sin and give you life and joy and peace in the Holy Ghost. Uh, for he's not willing that any perish, uh, but that all come to repentance. Uh, forsake your wicked way. Students, God himself is a Catholic. God ordained Catholic. This university has exchanged the truth of God, Jesus Christ, our teacher, the lies of Sigmund Freud, B.F. Skinner, Paul Tillich, Nietzsche, and many other philosophers. Uh, the Bible warns, uh, beware lest any man spoil you through philosophy. Yeah, uh, it's vain deceit, uh, teaching after the rudiments of this world, uh, and not after Christ, uh, for in Christ uh, dwelleth all the fullness of the Godhead bodily wills in Christ Jesus our Lord. In other words, if you're not a Christian, you're headed for hell. All Muslims headed for hell. All Buddhists are headed for hell. All Hindus are headed for hell. Most Jews, but not all of them, most Jews are headed for hell. Most Protestants and Catholics are probably headed for hell. And most all of you are headed for hell, fire and brimstone. Think about it, students. Uh, consider your way. Think about it. For you have separated yourself from God through your sin. The wages of sin is death. We are spiritually dead. We are dead Evangeline. in your trespasses and sin. Wake up. Who wake unto righteousness today. Couldn't sin not. Students, you can't be a Christian and continue to sin. Christians are people that have stopped sinning. Christians are people that have stopped their meanness, their selfishness, their wickedness. In a lot of peace. You don't have the period. The forming God's law is the only intelligent, reasonable way to live. God has given us his law to put us in but or visible, but to show us out of them right and wrong. God's law is like the banks of a river. And as long as that river flows in its banks, that river is a blessing to man. It irrigates his crops. It quenches his thirst. It's a source of power. But should the rains and the floods come and overflow the face of the river, suddenly that river becomes a curse. 
It pollutes his water supply. It destroys his crops. It floods his home. We are the river of life. And as long as we flow within the wholesome moral restraint of God's law, our life will be a blessing to others and a blessing to ourselves. But if the floods of sin enter our life, our life becomes a curse to others and a curse to ourselves. If God's laws were designed to make us miserable, how come you follow God's laws and you're so miserable? No, I said governed by reason. Enlightened reason. That's what Christianity is. It's enlightened reason. Christianity is reason. Christianity is the antithesis of reason. True faith is found in evidence and reason. Oh, yeah, they remember some things. Oh, there might be a few nice people out here, other than my wife and I. How do I tell? Hey, well, first of all, nice girls don't go around in many skirts. You married her? <laughs> Because the Bible says, the women professing godliness ought to be modest in their apparel. Young woman, you better judge. These boys will tell you girls anything to get into your pants. I will. Much like God has given us the Bible so we can judge right from wrong, truth from error, good from I hope you don't leave everything these you lessons tell you, you just because they have You better judge. Judge righteous judgment, the Bible says. The Bible says he that is spiritual judges all things, yet he himself is judge of no man. Everybody judges. The question is, by what standard do you judge? Young woman, I'm sure you make judgments. Let me ask you, what my standard is the Bible. What's your standard? Well, because I'm a horsey, it doesn't take a whole lot. <laughs> it doesn't take a whole lot of what? Yes, now students, this girl has just confessed. Are you an amateur or a professional horse? She says, if you want to pay, you can, but evidently you don't have to. Say, you Sammies better get her you over to the house tonight. I've got that look about me. Our good judge, anyone would be a fool who didn't judge. The most of you are fools. You don't make sound judgments. It's not sound judgment to sin. Sin is folly. Sin is foolish.